Hi, this is Obi Juan from Madrid, Spain, and I wanted to talk a little bit about object oriented mechanics. That it's a concept that Professor Alberto Valero and me uh, are researching on. It's a kind of mechanics description of language. We have different implementation, and here I want to show you an implementation in Python because you can run it interactively and it's very easy to use and to understand the main principle principles. So let's start by executing the IPython and let's create a cube. You just create an object that it's a cube and if you want to show it interactively just execute the show method. So you it will automatically be rendered in OpenSCAD. Now let's do something more complex for example let's name this cube it's another cube name A. Let's show. Let's show it. Here we are. The cube. Let's create, for example, a cross. The cross is made of the cube A plus the same cube. Rotate an angle of 90 degrees around the z axis. Let's show it. Here we have the cross. Another useful element for designing mechanics are the vectors. We can create very easily the vectors. Let's declare the vector B as a vector 10, 10, 10. Let's show it. Here you are the vector. If we want to show both objects, the vector and the cross, just join them using the plus operator. So here we have the cross and the vector. Uh, let's put the cross in de debug mode. It's true. So that you can see a transparent cross. This is quite useful for debugging very complex mechanical parts. So the idea is to declare objects. And once you have the object, you can implement method in that object or you can give some kind of meaning to the object for example the the object a that it's a cube you can get the size of that cube and you can declare another another attribute like the kind of part if this part is printable or this is a vitamins or something like that so that later you can create algorithm for classifying the object or creating automatically bill of material or something like that. So this is this this was the, the brief demonstration so thanks for watching.